Wait for the, the game to come up. There we go. Now, of course, we are finally allowed to talk and show Johnston. This is going to happen today. I have been... Thank you guys for the subs and the um, the follows. Appreciate you. I, I I am allowed to show Johnston. I um, I'll give you my short my short short version is eh. That's probably not the answer you want. Um, I feel like they missed the boat a little bit on this ship. Is it a bad ship? No, not by any stretch of the imagination. It is still a Fletcher. Okay, and inherently. It is a good, it, when you start from a place that strong, it's very difficult to screw it up, which is one of the reasons that Halford makes me so angry because Halford is like, oh, how did you screw this up? But they found a way, right? Um, oh no, my Johnston is staying right where it is. Staying right where it is, Merton. Um, but with that said, very commonly when I've been playing this ship, I have often felt, man, I wish I had my Fletcher and not this the big miss for me is the lack of any kind of a heal kid at tier eight let's let's talk fletchers for a minute guys let's let's talk fletchers oh we're, we're there so you, there are there are let's see i'm missing one i've got one two three four five and chung moo hold on a minute there we go Six Fletchers? I feel like I'm missing one. Ah, Velos. Velos. There we go. So there are seven Fletchers in the game, right? And by and large, each of them has their own interesting little unique identity thing that they do. And the new Chinese... Oh, right. This thing is a Fletcher too now. No, this is a Benson, isn't it? No, that is a Fletcher. That's a tier eight Fletcher. That's a tier eight kid. Nah, whatever. I don't count this thing. It's ugly as balls. Anyway, each of them has their own unique identity, okay? Kid, for example, leans... She takes that... Uh, Fletcher... Let's start at the beginning. Why is Fletcher one of the most... Why is Fletcher one of the best destroyers in World of Warships? It's because it is... Like the Thanos meme. It is very well balanced. Is it an amazing gunboat? No. It's an above average gunboat. Is it an amazing torpedo boat? No, it's an above average torpedo boat. It does a lot of things above average. That gives it a nice baseline to start from. Jaggedy with the raid. Thank you very much. We're flocking this way. And so then what happens is when you take your baseline Fletcher, that is above average in so many categories, and then you're going to spec, spec the modules and the captains and the upgrades to play the ship the way you want to play it. Hey, I want to lean torpedoes. Hey, I want to lean guns. Hey, I want to lean AA. Whatever you're going to do, all of these options are available to you. It's all about how you build the ship, how you play the ship, how you position the ship, how you div up with friends with the ship, whatever. Happy four. Thank you, Jaggedy. And so Fletcher is amazing. Now, start talking about the different variants of Fletcher, right? Kid comes along. What's Kid's gimmick? Kid gets a heal. Kid gets less torpedo power. So inherently, Kid tilts the scales towards gunboat. Less torpedo power, much more gun power, and the heal, which means that she can get into gunfights and sustain into the late game. She's not necessarily afraid of taking an early game gunfight the way that you probably wouldn't in a Fletcher. Okay, so... That gives Kid a unique identity, right? She could be a little more aggressive when it comes to fighting other destroyers, okay? Um, or even picking on larger targets, especially in the middle and late game, right? If there's a battleship around and he's got two or three things shooting at him, I'll happily farm him for damage in a Kid, knowing that, yeah, he might bother to shoot me or his secondaries might damage me a little bit, but I can just heal most of it back, okay? And Kid's AA is amazing. So Kid is very much leaned into the, I'm going to be spotted, I'm going to be fighting you on the surface, I have my heal to recover my damage, and when you spec that captain, what are you going to do? You're going to lean into the gun power. You're going to probably spec for an extra heal. You're going to spec for Fearless Brawler. Fearless Brawler is an amazing skill on a kid, as an example. Okay. I did leave out cookies for, for milk and cookies for Captain America last night. Let's look at Black. What's Black's gimmick? Black's gimmick is she gets radar. In some ways, this ship was the prototype for what came at the high end of the Pan American, sorry, Pan Asian destroyer line later on. So she gets smoke and radar. 
Okay, so she's a pretty solid gunboat, right? She gets the same, the same, basically the same guns that Fletcher gets, but she gets to add radar and smoke. That's kind of cool, right? Um, she can choose between radar, engine boost, and defensive fire. If you're playing a black, you're probably going to play radar. Like, that's why you play the boat. What's the difference? Her, again, her torpedo power is not amazing. Now, it's, it's quirked, okay? Black's torpedoes, they hit like trains, but they're painfully slow with a ton of range. Okay, so... It's not that her torpedoes are garbage, it's that they're much more challenging to use than the other ships so far. Okay. Reasonable. She has a niche. She has a thing. Okay. She has a role. Chung Mu. Chung Mu and Black are very similar, almost two sides of the same coin. Again, I'm getting the radar. With Chung Mu, I can't take smoke and radar, so I lose access to that, but my torpedoes are way better. So I tilt the scale a little bit more torpedo, a little bit less survivability because I can't hide in smoke while radaring things, and so on. Velos. Velos' guns are even better. She has fewer of them, but they're on a quicker reload, and she has this stupid, crazy, nutty torpedo reload. And she gets she doesn't have to choose between engine boost and defensive fire. She gets it all. She gets everything. Now, she doesn't get the American defensive fire, all right? This is still a nice, well-rounded boat. Okay? So on. Oh, Lewis. Thank you. That is awesome. I don't... I don't think anybody's ever done that before for me. Thank you very much. At least not certainly in that quantity. I appreciate you. Okay? Thank you very much. That's awesome. Um, so now we're down to Halford. What's Halford's thing? Halford is Halford just trying to be a hybrid, right? She's got this goofball plane squadron, and she's down to one rack of torpedoes. The torpedoes are still basically the really good Fletcher torpedoes, right? 13 and a half kilometers, yada, yada, yada. These are longer range. But she only has one rack, so it's like, eh, okay. Um, and then you get the goofy rockets, and, and they're of dubious value. So Halford tries to be something that Fletcher isn't. That's the reason that I dislike Flat Halford almost more than anything. Halford tries to be a ship that Fletcher is not. Fletcher's not good at that, right? Fletcher, like I said earlier, Fletcher is such a well-rounded, well-balanced, amazing mix of gun power and torpedo power and A and handling and stealth and speed. And Halford's like, I'm gonna, I want planes. And I'm like, but look at what you're throwing away to fly planes around the map. Look what you're giving up. Halford has never felt good to me. Andrew, I'll tell you in a sec. It's real simple. All right, which brings us now all the way down to Johnston. Is Johnston a bad boat? Not in the least. She is not. But what is, she, what is her gimmick? Well, for starters, she gets those same... Longer range torpedoes we just looked at on Halford. They don't hit quite as hard, a little bit, and they have a lo much longer reload, right? I'm playing Johnston here on a uh, as a torpedo build, which I'm going to change today because I I'm starting to think this is not the right way to play the ship. Um, but that still has a two minute, a little more than a two minute reload. That feels kind of kind of garbage, honestly. Okay, um, her gun reload is worse. You go from 3.3 seconds up to four and a half seconds. You have the same number of barrels but you get way worse reload, like 30 to 40% worse reload. What's the trade-off? I no longer have AP shells. I have SAP shells, which as you've, if you've played the Italian destroyer line or a Frower Sherman, you know those things are amazing for murdering destroyers. And last but not least, I get the goofy burst fire mode. Now, unlike most burst fire modes in the game, this one is actually good. A lot of burst fire modes, maybe the, the Spanish cruisers being the exception, but, like, in general, the burst fire modes are terrible because they cost you damage. Johnston's doesn't necessarily feel that way. It has an eight and a half second reload, and when you push the button, you get three quick salvos. You basically get three salvos in the space of time you would have normally gotten one. What that means is, is that when you are, when you catch a destroyer broadside in a turn, an opposing destroyer, uh, when you only are going to catch a glimpse of them for that split second, like it's a shimikaze or something, you can put a ton of firepower down on them very very quickly and that's actually really really cool and then you wait eight and a half seconds which is not crazy penalizing because that's and when you when you run the numbers this actually works out to be a small dps increase i think right i didn't i haven't run the numbers but like a three salvos on this ship i could only fire three salvos in fire reload fire that would be nine seconds right four and a half second base reload here, I can get three salvos, wait eight and a half seconds, and get three more. So that's, by the time you start spacing it out, this is, burst fire is actually a DPS increase. Leaving burst fire on, on your Johnston, is actually pretty good. 
So here, so what does the ship want to do? She wants to brawl other destroyers. She wants to murder other destroyers. But she's not equipped for it because she doesn't have the longevity. For starters, she still has a Fletcher health pool, right? All in, just to touch over 20,000 hit points. Elbings are laughing at you right now. In fairness, that's a bad comparison. But a lot of tier 10 destroyers, a lot of destroyers in your matchmaking bracket are like, 20,000 hit points, give me a bit, give me a, give me a break, okay? And then on top of that, you're still a destroyer. It's still 2024. The game is nine years old. Players have learned by now, hey, when that destroyer is spotted, I should shoot him. So as soon as you take a gunfight with somebody, what's going to happen? Five people are going to try to murder you. Five or eight or whatever. Anybody who can shoot you is going to try to murder you. So what does that mean for how Johnston plays? She has to play cautious in the early game, the same way a traditional Fletcher does. So she, you have to play this boat the same way you already play Fletcher. Cautious in the early game, a little aggressive in the late game, depending on how the game has gone, okay? But that's not what people wanted, I don't think. I wanted, I wanted a boat that played like kid. I want to be aggressive. I want to get in there. I want to get my hands dirty. I want to, I want to murder somebody. I want to make them, I want to, I want to rip their throats out, run away, heal a little bit, and then run back in and murder them and rip their throats out again. Johnston can't do that. She doesn't have the health pool for it. So for my for my money, is Johnston disappointing? No. She's not disappointing because she's still a Fletcher. She's still a good ship. She has a little bit of uniqueness to her. Could she have been something truly amazing? She could have. And they missed the boat on this one, in my opinion. Um, yeah, exactly. So Night Owl, you're exactly where I am, right? Like, I, I, I just don't understand. I don't understand the thought process, right? Um, what kid, what kid is, what this ship is, right? Is what I think everybody wanted Johnston to be. Kid will move up aggressively generally, and be a jerk early. I can play this ship early aggressively, depending on matchmaking, far more aggressively than I can play a Johnston. Am I, do I have quite as much firepower in it when it comes to murdering opposing destroyers? I don't, right? I don't. I don't have the SAP. I still have really good HE, right? My HE is going to do horrible things to most destroyers I run into. Like, the overwhelming majority are going to go, ow, 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 ow. And they're going to deal damage back to you when you're going to go, LOL, I heal, right? B you know, bite me. I'm leaving now. I'm going to go limp away and heal. So, would I take her over Benham? <clears throat> Andrew, I would. I would. And the reason for that is, at the end of the day, she's still a Fletcher. And she's still better rounded than a Benham. Benham is a torpedo boat. And that's all she'll ever be. Fletchers, in general, the, like the class in general, when you take the Fletchers as a group, they can be, kid perhaps the exception, they can be almost anything you want to spec them out to be. Which is, which is one of the things that I love about the class, right? I can take my Fletcher and I can, I norm, I like to play this ship spec as torpedo build. Can you play the ship as a gun build? 100% you can. Could you spec this ship for AA and run screening destroyer? 100% you could, right? There's, there's not a wrong answer. There's only what you want to do. How do you want to play the ship? Okay. Um, in theory, you can make the same, you can make the same statement about Johnston. Is there a wrong way to play this ship? No, I don't think there is. Right, the torpedo build that I've been playing, I haven't had a lot of success with. I'm going to change it around, and we're going to play some stuff. We're going to play some gun build on stream, see if it's any better. Is it wrong? No, it works. I've had good games in the ship. I've had 140,000 damage game that we won. Like you know, it's it works. But I think what everybody wanted about what everybody wanted out of Johnston was a Fletcher they could be aggressive in. They wanted this, and that's not what this is. You can't be aggressive in a Johnston. Getting aggressive in a Johnston is just like getting aggressive in a Fletcher. It gets you dead in the early game, more than likely, right? So it's very sad.